event. Right. Obviously, you know the um, you know the Utah Utes blood runs real thick and long, and and uh, you know it's it's a long tradition between uh, you know the older generation, younger generation. Paul was actually a true freshman when I was. Um, when I was uh, my senior year in college, then he went on a mission, came back, and uh, so you know we all stick together. We all kind of uh, help each other, and uh, that's how we. Yeah, have I'm, a, I'm a hometown kid, born and raised in Salt Lake City. Um, went to uh, you know Lincoln, Clayton, just went to you know all the schools here in, in Salt Lake City. Went to East High School, and uh, ended up graduating from there, and uh, received a scholarship to Utah. Then I went on a Mormon mission for a couple of years to Pittsburgh, and then. Um, when I came back, just ended up going to the University of Utah. I had the pleasure of playing for Coach McBride for a couple of years, and then Urban Meyer for the last couple of years, and ended up, uh, you know, ended on a sweet note going to the Fiesta Bowl, and uh, ended up getting drafted to the Jets, and, and been there ever since. So it's been a great experience. All the time, I check up on East. I check up on all Utah sports, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, which high school's taking it, uh, you know, which players are coming out at, um, you know, all state honors or all region. So I pretty much, you know, I keep an eye on East High School, but I, I definitely keep an eye out on, on Utah sports. Come back a lot, actually. You know, Next week on June 30th and July 1st, I'm hosting a Dream Big football camp where I'm, where I'm bringing out probably like a good handful of NFL players, a little bit over a dozen, to come to East High School. And uh, we're hosting a, a football camp for kids from ages 8 to uh, 17. Um, you know, information is on dreambigfootball.com. But it's actually a way for me to kind of come back to where I grew up, where my roots were, where, uh, you know, where my cleats used to be, uh, you know, at the old stomping grounds. And, uh, you know, we got a great community up there and a lot of support from uh, you know Utah kids. That I grew up in uh, Liberty Park area. Yeah, so I, I grew up. Uh, I lived on Fifth East um, and Ninth South. So I kind of just grew up. Kinda, I guess I'm the in betweener guy. Um, but you know, I grew that with influences. You know, with a lot of my friends from the Glendale area, as well as a lot of friends from the East High area. Um, you know, the Foothill area, Avenue area. So friends all around, and um, you know, the East High community is great. You know, July 4th, obviously we have a, a little, um, you know, celebration going down. It's nothing of, of a motivation, but it's more of just uh, wanting to come back and, and celebrate, you know, Independence Day and, and uh, you know, have a few shows and just celebrate with people. It was, it was nothing, there's no hero cape to do anything like that. It's more of like, hey, let's have a great celebration as we, uh, you know, enjoy some of the luxuries that we have in life. Especially, I've been very blessed and, uh, you know, it was, it's nothing really of coming back and trying to be a hero. More of just coming in and... Um, you know, and, and enjoy yeah, the life of a lockout. You know, it, basically people would ask me, you know, what, what we do during a lockout. I figured it'd be something good to kind of pick up a camera and uh, show people what we do, uh, not only on the football field on Sundays, but what we do on Mondays. You know, uh, we do homework too, and we cook too. Um, you know, we we have bad times as well. And so uh, I think it gives fans an interesting look about our, our lives more on a um, – personal level than it does on a you know on a Monday night football or Sunday night football type I think it's just a, a, a part of the process you know uh, with an empire just like the, um, the NFL was kind of surprising I seen the NBA yesterday they're, they're trying to get their deal done so it's just part of uh, what makes the game the game and, and what's made it so powerful and, and making an empire there is a business side to it so you respect both sides the business side and the fun side of it I'd rather stay on the fun side of it and enjoy the game I've, I've been playing as a little kid <laughs>